Yep, so I have no idea how to do a uh, zombie, zombie shamble. Welcome back to After Hours. Today we're doing something a little special, because in my search for interesting and weird games that time kind of forgot, I found a really interesting one. It is basically a cancelled Resident Evil Outbreak sequel, but in first person. And I've been playing it with my friend Alma. It was never quite finished, it was cancelled back in 2007. It doesn't really resemble a full release. There is sort of a story that goes through it, but we weren't able to tell how that story was told. We weren't able to determine from the beginning of the game if what we were playing was actually the beginning of the game. And it turned out that the very first thing we played was actually the ending of the game, or well, the ending of what is available of the game. So what I'm about to show you is actually our last recording session, but it is the beginning of the game. Was there any more I needed to tell you? Oh, right, that's right. So the game is kind of lost, right? And we have found a version of it that works. And we are gonna be releasing that version on our website so that you can play it. And let's get into it. Let's start with the first level in the game, and that is called Mall. Resident Evil. We are a group of strangers brought into forced unity through hell relocating topside. We didn't know how the hell it's happened, but the city is dead. Almost. Corpses are rising from the dead and attacking the living, eating their flesh. That, we know. Mutants and God knows what else roam the streets, hungry and bloodthirsty. We are survivors. We've been holed up in this building for a while now, too scared to talk. Too scared to plan. Too scared to do something. Alec claims he's got a plan though, he's going to get the hell out of here. Well, great. I guess we'd better get moving too, before the situation gets any worse. I have a baseball. Baseball bat. Uh, and the reason I have a baseball bat is that equipment is randomized. Oh god damn it. Behind us. Holy shit. Ouchie. <laughs> Massive damage. I need me the clever. Yeah, I need something else as well. I've gotten so used to using the knife last time. Want my knife? Uh no, I I there's a weapon like right around the corner, I think. So normally there would be a bunch of cutscenes, and these cutscenes are not in this version of the game that we're playing. R.I.P. that guy that dies. Yeah, and right in the apartment where we are, there's a guy that's like gonna die, and he was, god damn it, and he was in the first cutscene. Signs, a good chunk of me got bitten off by those rotten bastards in the way here. I think I'm defected. We'll see you later. I'm not going to become one of you! There we go. And then we get a key. And there are also item boxes in the game. The item boxes in the new version of the game are gonna be super great, but in this version of the game they don't do anything. They just exist. And you can of course combine herbs, like you're used to in Resident Evil, and they will heal you. And now we open the back door. Yeah, and this security gate, it does nothing. It closes a door, that's about it.
And now we are in the mall. And there are gonna be Duggos. Hello, Duggos. Hello, Duggos. We are in the mall. You are dead. And I'm gonna go run over and get the shotgun. Hello, there's also a rip. There's a doggo behind you. Now we got that. Uh, and I think there is something in here. There's a ribbon. And a shotgun ammo. Yes. And the ribbons are used to create safe points. Which will be points where you will spawn if you use them. They are typewriters like they are in uh, regular Resident Evil. Oh, hello. Oh, hello Cleaver. And hello Key. We got the security door key. So now we need to go into the elevator shaft. And go into the security room. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, hello Doggo. I did not remember that being there. Oh, hello. Oh, god damn it. And then we press the button, Which opens a store on the ground floor of the mall. Right out the elevator to the left. Yes, right here. Oh, holy shit, I need to go get... Uh... No, I got it. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, so there's also a push button, which is pretty useful. Yes, very useful. No idea why that particular uh, ammo box doesn't work. It hasn't. We haven't actually been able to ever pick that up. Anything on something movable makes yeah, right. it impossible yeah, it's to super get. Weird. And there's gonna be a guy. Hello, guy. You're gonna be. Yes, hello. Bye. And there is a key. Hello, key. And that's gonna unlock something in the basement. Yeah, take the rifle. You're gonna need that. Oh, right, there's gonna be guys. I forgot you guys. <laughs> gun <laughs> shop is open. Oh, it is? Yeah, we should go to the gun shop, right, and stock up on uh, stuff, yes. Hello, proprietors of the gun shop store. How are you doing today? Hello. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, right, there's a butin. Which does, uh, what? Nothing? Oh, it did that thing. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Holy shit. Hello. They were like, my turn, now <laughs> mine, now mine. Oh, hello, man.
Hello, froggy boys. We're gonna die, froggy boys. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Alright, we need to push the bugs over there, right? And we won't be able to do anything with it just yet. Yeah, this is fine. I was just admiring you swimming, because you're swimming in such a shallow pond. <laughs> it looked uh, very good, very professional. Oh, hello, doggos. Oh, hey! Hello, man. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Hey, froggy boys! Oh, hello, doggos! So far, so good. I hear more doggos. Yeah, he's uh, right there. I see monsters! This sounds... Oh yeah, this is a ton where I need to like hack a bunch of dudes, right? Yeah, I'm hacking a bunch of dudes. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, holy shit, uh, <laughs> I don't think this leads anywhere, I think this is just leads back, actually. Yeah, it totally just leads back. Um, Alright, yeah, we just need to go this way. And there's supposed to be a Buden, where's the Buden? Oh, there it is. Oh, right. There we go. <laughs> Did you manage? Yeah, you managed. Oh, hello. Key. Oh, right. Key. <laughs> Sewer key. Now magically the door near the start is open. Cutscene. Uh, I bet. Isn't there like a uh, through the tunnel down in the sewer? Oh, right, 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 right. Now I know when you, what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just opens. Yeah, the door in here, right? Maybe cutscene. No, isn't it in here? Follow. We go to the drain. Okay, I'm following you. Yeah. I don't think we need to... Well, I'm following you. Yep, we'll see, we'll see. Right, the arrow gate. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. Hello, lady zombie. I need what you're selling. Alright, so we're going into the tunnel, yes, and there's gonna be a door, and we unlock the door. Yeah, hello, oh yeah, hello boy.
Hello, boy. There's a boy behind you. There we go. Oh, weird. Oh, hello, boy. Butin. And then we emptied that right here. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Back to the water area. Yeah, back to the water area, which is in that store that we unlock in the mall when we first go into the basement. Oh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, hello, boyos. Oh, hey boys. Hey boys. Oh, hey boys. Oh, hey, boys. Oh. Uh, is it through the tunnel? Yeah, it's here. Yeah, these suck. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo, pistol ammo, rocket launcher ammo. We don't have a rocket launcher. Oh, there's a die. Oops. Right, right, right. <laughs> I used the blow up and then immediately got poisoned. I survived. Oh, you did? That's fucking great. <laughs> there you go. Key here. And there's a key. Generic key, most likely for the door in the corner. Thank you. And then we made it out of the mall. Yes. We'd come to the mall seeking <laughs> shelter and safety, but it couldn't last forever. We said a few words for Alec and then geared up. We couldn't bury the corpse. After we'd got what we needed, we set off. We'd learned a valuable lesson. Nowhere is safe in Raccoon City. And then we say a few words for a character that we haven't actually seen on this map. Because we uh, we didn't see him in the cutscenes. Brilliant. So that was a playthrough of the first level of what we're calling Resident Evil Outbreak 3 for a lack of a better term. As you saw in the ending there, there is a little bit of bullshit with the bus fight. 
the future boss fights will be much greater. I don't know why they start with a spider boss fight, because the spider has like a bullshit thing that I'm not sure would have ever made it into a finished release, where when it poisons you, you cannot see your health, and you also cannot move, so you cannot move out of the spider's way, and the spider actually also hits super hard. And I did manage to use a blue herb, which does cure poison, but then I just immediately got poisoned again by the spider boss. Fuse bosses, like I said, will be much more fun. And like I mentioned in the very beginning, the game will be available pretty much immediately after this video comes up on our website. And you can download it there and you can play it yourself. Well, you need to a friend to play it with because it is co-op required as you will... I don't think you see it in this video, but you'll see it in future videos where you, we need to like jump on each other's heads to get up into vents so that the person can go through the vent and open the door on the other side. And it is also just generally more fun with friends and there are definitely some combat encounters that do seem like they require at least two people to get through. And if you don't have friends, you are more than welcome to join our Discord community and play with us. Because we love this game. We've been playing it non-stop pretty much for, I believe, a week now. And we're having so much fun and we've been having so much fun piecing like the whole narrative together and also getting the older version of the game that has more content and more special stuff getting that run. Uh, I believe in the playthrough I mentioned in the very beginning that some characters in an earlier build of the game will have special abilities and special weapons and the weapons won't be randomized and we are very much looking forward to seeing what kind of effect that's gonna have on all the puzzles. So yeah, I hope you'll join us next time. <laughs> Until I see you again, uh, take care and good night.